This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. Today's video, we're gonna explain how to play the newest Apex Legends LTM lockdown with a quick summary. Then we're gonna cover some quick top five tips and then break down two wins with an educational commentary and just kind of change the flow of the video and just talk with you guys about it. Now, everything is timestamped. So if you wanna to skip to something that's more specific to what you want, so there you go. On screen is a scoring system, but I'm gonna simplify it for you as we zoom in kind of on the points and you can memorize it and pause it. Being on points gain points. Very simple, getting eliminations gain points. This is very king of the hill, but if you want details on what is happening, just pause again and digest the scoring system, but simplify it, be on point, get points, eliminate, get points. Simple, simple, so let's just, let's just move on. I feel confident I could share some good tips because during the event, this was actually hosted at Respawn, so shout out to Respawn for flying me out to the event. I really actually enjoyed this LTM. I had a really good time. I won total five games, you know, really solid gameplay. I had a lot of great moments, and it's there was something different about just being there with other people who love Apex and then just cheering IRL. It really brings that, like, land feel. It was just, it was nice, you know, just maybe not super competitive but just it was it was fun so now for the quick tips tip number one quick early meta i hate meta but at the same time if you're looking for tips I and mean, i'm going to give you some tips on how to counter this meta just a little bit caustic conduit and revenant are going to be nasty in this mode especially with caustic i mean caustic just got a buff and any controller legend is really strong even catalyst when it comes to holding doors on the kc map is just insane despite the nerf and conduit and revenant they're just really strong at resetting and making a strong push horizon and king's candy is busted just to take height quickly in this clip you can see caustic and conduit are just insane for holding Remember, if you run into the sweats, try to have fun and just try different things. You don't always got to try this meta, okay? You don't always have to just keep doing this, but I'm just po pointing it out because it's just the most obvious flaw with the game mode. Also, shout out to Girl and Timmy. When I tried playing Vantage early on and some perks with movement, yes, with Vantage you're getting in the point, but I really felt like I was throwing by being off meta. So shout out to, again, Girl and Timmy for just being patient while I tried something new. But overall, everyone was just super kind through the whole event and this whole recording session was such a vibe. It was just so hype, even though the Matches were close. It was just, it was a blast. No, ah, there was such a good that was game. was so close. That was a good game, actually. Reminders, there are good ways to counter this meta. Caustic and Conduit comps are really hard holding, so if you want to use Fuse to grenade them out, Mad Maggie when balling and getting involved and pushing are going to be really strong. Even Rampart when it comes to blasting down doors is also a fantastic option, especially when you get frustrated if they're just hunkering down and you can't break through. Especially whenever you're trying to break through and you need a wall in front of you and you don't necessarily want to stand out in the open, Rampart's pretty solid at that, not going to lie. And also counter that, Rampart's great, great at holding too. Tip number two, you may not get massive benefits for end zone and capturing the zone, but those care package loadouts make a big difference. The Kraber and Wingman, just like in this clip right here, insane, really solid. Tip number three, hold the point. In this clip with the Prizzy, we were blasted by grenades, but while that, I mean, everyone's just focused on you, but they're not able to get in because everyone is just blasting you down. Survive and hunker down, even if it means holding a tight angle. Here's another clip where everyone else is just shooting and blasting, but if you are on that point and you can find those little nooks and areas, they make a pretty big difference. Tip number four, know when the point is no longer worth it. It's not necessarily admitting defeat, but you got to win the war, right? Maybe you lost that small battle there, but running back into the point when there's only like five to seven seconds left just isn't worth it. Go run to the next one and secure for more points in the long run. Maybe you do want those and, you know, Krabers and stuff like that, but sometimes if you're just not going to be there, going for the next point is just going to be more effective. And the last tips here, just to kind of speed round some final tips, is close range loadouts are going to be ideal, especially whenever you're fighting for close range. And movement legends can be really great at catching up. It's why Conduit's passive is so good and Revenant tactical and much more. So now what we're going to do, we're going to segue to a little bit of a commentary style switch up. Instead of going for the more scripted stuff, now we're going to go more free flow and break down some of the gameplay so you guys can just enjoy what you see and just kind of talk through things. So let's segue now. All right, so... My voice was not recording to avoid having all the background noise. You're going to hear Greek and We The People. Shout out to them. Be sure to support their channels. I'll put them down in the description down below. Amazing people. It was an absolute blast gaming with them. I had it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So you, what you, when you hear the background noise, I will pause. We'll, we'll talk about some of our thought process. Conduit Bangalore and Caustic are absolutely nutty as a comp. It's insane. As we kept playing throughout the day, everyone started playing a lot more meta compared to the first win. 
early heal here. The conduit is insane. Let's talk about the speed in which it's important to heal your teammate preemptively here as they back up. So let's pause. This is really important. The reason why it's so vital is because conduit has a fast reset. And when it comes to this game mode, conduit is just insane. Even this is after the nerfs, by the way. And this is at respawn's office. So yeah, nice. So there might be occasional light language here and there. I will leave it in, you know? I mean, we're playing all next to each other, having a good time vibing. This is a whole lot of fun. Caustic is a great hold. Conduit Ultimate is fantastic. We're going to talk about some of the holds here, and I'll break them down as we'll pause and kind of break everything in more detail. Let me know if you enjoy this format. I try to give the tips at the start, but I kind of want to do more in real time. This is where Catalyst... I want to pause here. These doors in this map, if you're playing Catalyst, let's pause here. Notice how the doors will block and buy yourself time, and being on point is important. So, catting up these doors. Now, if you want to say how you counter it, those were the tips earlier. We're using Fuse and Mad Maggie are pretty huge. Later, we're going to do a round with We the People and Baby Nikki. Shout out to them as well. I mean, he's in this round as well, but great teammates, great people. It was so, so much fun. Keep in mind, when people push, I mean, everyone was kind of just doing, I guess you can call it Hail Marys, and just shoving extremely hard. It's insane. We're not under normal setups again. This is in person. Oh, we got... <laughs> that's unfortunate. That's crazy. That was a great spray. I wonder who that was. That's That's crazy. That was a good spray. And so this is important when you decide what you're going to contest and what you're going to push. I think we decided to go for B. Let's see here. You want to go for B right now? You mean? Yeah. yeah. This is me calming that I think we should go. I think it was me calming. Unfortunately, I don't have my comms, but we're here on the left side. So I assume this is me calming. We should fight for something else. Got that person. Move in. I'm going to calm these behind him. That caustic is literally one. That is so unfortunate. Oh, wow. I barely got him. Points are given for enemies, you know, killing opponents, right? But it's not as, as effective as being on the physical point. And we're going to pause here in a moment and showcase the power of caustic conduit in here. And it's just, it's pretty crazy. And you get more of the heirloom. If you want to see the heirloom showcase, I have that on the video as well. Oh, I just wasn't able to get that there, unfortunate. But we do get this later. And you can see where pa conduit's passive is really, really impactful here as well. Just by moving up. There's the heal. Was able to... Oh, there we go. Oh, unfortunate right here. I think I die. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But at least I was able to come in, get the heal, slow things down a little bit. I really should have just went on the point instead with them. But they, they were doing great. I gave them a heal. And I guess it slowed down their catalyst. But if I were giving myself feedback, let's see what we're doing here. Heal up. Caustic is really important to keep up. Also, the fortified is pretty huge. Try to flank. I just, at this point, I reposition. You'll see the hold here. This hold is insane. I realized that, I mean, I, I, it took me a little while also to realize, like, hey, the value of positioning on the point. But the more I valued it, the better the, the rounds started going. So there's a lot of teams nearby, and they actually help this hold. So I'm going to pause here. Ready? And boom. The power here. So Caustic Barrel, we can use it as leverage to hide behind. And then also what you see here with the Conduit Ultimate. Huge spacing. Huge spacing. This is RPOI. This is ours. GG's. It's so good. But also shout out to the teammates for just really outplaying and just doing fantastic work here. It's, it's so much fun. And you hear everyone in the background because everyone's cheering. So here's the benefit here from the early tip. Massive having a Kraber. You're going to see the impact of the Kraber here in just a second. Give him a heal. I'm, I'm watching his back here. Get the Kraber shot and clean it up. Massive. Easy, easy. Very, very clean. But we got to go for the point. That's the biggest thing. So I'm pretty much, you know, playing support here, being with my teammates, trying to give as much as I can. But this is big. This is big for us to set up on B, and that's our goal is to get to B. So we're in the, in the, uh, in, we have a solid lead right now, but we got to keep maintaining it, right? And I'm going to pause right here. Notice how the time keeps going, even if it's neutral. You got to get on the point. Every second's wasted. But even if you're there for just a few seconds, it, it just makes first one on zone, right? Quick, easy 15. Massive. Holding another plus five, you know? It makes such a big difference because every couple seconds, you're just getting plus five, plus five, plus five. And this is, okay, here's an example where control edges are king. This catalyst wall is absolutely insane. It's, it's crazy. I made the mistake of switching to my weapon there. There's just people everywhere at this point, and I get eliminated. But you know what? It was a solid hold to begin with. 
You know, I, I think I tabbed out. I had to make sure I was recording. But we played well as a team. My better round was a drum bum and girl, where I think that was the most kills I had, which was 11. This one was... I think I played well as a teammate, and I had my I had my shining moments here and there. We'll put it we'll put that there, you know. Should not have shot there. I should have just kept running forward. Dumb standing out in the open. I got two v one. That's my fault, right? Can always learn from these, you know. Especially when you're playing against, you know. I mean, everyone's a good player. You gotta when you know everyone who is, especially if they're playing right next to you, should have a lot of respect for players and do the same thing when you're playing online. Oh, that's that's a craver that I got eliminated from. This hold is going to be pretty vital to us right here. Oh, there's a heal. Huge. So caustic ult, caustic gas, massive in terms of winning. Pretty good, solid hold here. Very nice. Smoke. I remember smoke was nerfed. I don't even think I saw an indicator there. I'm not going to lie. That was an insane grenade. The smoke is really, really powerful. Very, very powerful. Conduit passive, also really strong here. Again, catching up, just that friendly reminder. Oh, I tried to dodge that. But we're still in the lead. This is solid. This is solid. All we got to do is just keep moving and keep holding. Even though I didn't eliminate them, at least they're gone. Now, for the next contest, I do have Conduit Ultimate. Which is beneficial. Keeping in mind your utility is really, really key. And I am calling that for the next one. There you go. As we're already calling it. See? So you're kind of hearing in the background. I think they lock me out here, but I do end up just running around outside like an absolute psychopath. And then I ult inside. And once I get inside, right here, this, this, is, this is where the lockdown... Boom. GG's. Our lockdown, and this is where we win. This, this is the dub right here. Afterwards, we're going to segue to Baby Nikki and we the people we're playing against. So easy dubs, easy GGs. Getting pushed in the back. But every second, we, all we need is just a li one elimination at this point, and it's just GGs. And there it is right there. Good game. Let's segue to the next one. That was a whole lot of fun. Shout out to the make sure to follow them on their social medias and let's go to the next round. All right, shout out again to We The People and Baby Nikki. This was a really fun round. This is a different map, so I wanted to showcase a little something different. All right, what do you want? Have a walk on that. <laughs> so we got Fuse and, and of course Pathfinder and Conduit. A little something different. We also, at one point, we had a gentleman's agreement saying no caustic, right? Just to kind of switch it up a little bit. This part is really hard to hold up here. You're probably, as a viewer, not going to enjoy holding this part up top. But notice how everyone is kind of watching an angle. I get eliminated here, unfortunately, and I wasn't able to do a whole lot. Everyone just kind of shoved at that spot, but Baby Nikki and we the people did hold it down afterwards, and they did really solid. We had a pretty rough start, but as we kept going, we got into our flow. I got... I, I'm surprised I lost this. You ready for the biggest whiff? I thought he was dead! I thought he was dead! I could not believe that. That's crazy. I flicked away thinking, oh, that's it. There's no way I do less damage. That was crazy. That was a hard throw on my part. I don't even know how to get up there, bro. Baby Nikki and we the people's comms are so good. I know you can't hear me, but at least you're able to hear me here. If you heard me, oh, you'd be hearing more in the background. It's the, the mics are hot, so they're doing push a talk. I, I think, I mean, or, you know, threshold, which helps. This is a great breach right here. Big, big, big clearing. And because of that, we're able to hold this. This comes out a big net positive for us here. I think they're fighting pretty hard still over there. This 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 came out pretty positive for us, so I'm not gonna lie. Because they pretty much left the point, which is fine with me. I'm one right now. Remember, you gotta play that patient. I'm not sure what that lag was. The feedback from we the people baby there, baby Nikki. It was that's crazy. I agreed. I was like, I mean this map is hard to hold. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, the person just shoved us. S psycho push. Oh, 
everyone just shoved, but it's okay because I mean the point was pretty much over anyways at that point. Got blasted for nine at a distance. That's crazy. That's actually insane. At this point now, I mean we're we're gonna keep putting tips, but at the same time, like <laughs> the loadouts here were crazy. I love our reaction too. We're like, what is this? I hold the heal here just because I see we the people's gotta gotta heal. All right, so we rotate. We just go, go to the next point. That's a lost cause. We're not super far behind, but we gotta, you know. Sometimes it's just you gotta keep pushing the points, you know. And those are huge. A lot of these holds you'll notice aren't giving you any favorable positioning. So at least we try to calm looking at different areas, best we can. And that's important. I do have my ult, that buys us a lot of time right there. But you'll like even that that those spots are just not ideal for holding, which is why rampart walls, caustic gas, conduit ultimate can be so great at zoning. So Nikki's gonna go up here in just uh, a second. I apologize if I keep saying everyone's full name. Still, it was a little weird meeting everyone in person, so I'm still, <laughs> I'm still getting used to like referring to everyone through like. For a lot of us, meeting was the first time, so it was pretty pretty cool. This was a hard whiff. I just could not land a shot. <laughs> that was crazy. Good hold. Do you see how now we're starting to pull ahead here? It's hard to push and it's hard to hold. I don't know if Respawn did that intentionally, but making them like... I guess it's a good thing by making them so exposed. Because then it makes it easier and dynamic for people to get on the point. If there was nothing but just great cover here then you know it would be impossible to breach these areas essentially oh it was whoever's got that bow my god just landing shots and those are not pushing one underneath trying to hard hold see these hold spots are really odd let's pause right here this is a really odd spot to hold underneath but then can be really strong with the right comp right This gets us a lot of points here too, just by playing it patient. That was sick. So now we have this, but anybody drops is going into a 3v1, right? Having one person be off a little bit is also ideal. It's not a bad thing, just as long as somebody's holding, right? So I always recommend like the larger legends like Vantage, Pathfinder, don't play on the physical point, play a little bit near it if you can, and let your teammates essentially hold it that have the holding power. I could have uh, given a heal there, but I, I missed it. Wind of opportunity gone. I'm hard holding because I'm the only one on the zone. Nikki's above and we the people push, so I had to stay on the point. Yeah, we did. Right, so yeah, because all the stuff is there. Yep. Oh, man. Nikki has great game sense, by the way. I've never played with Nikki besides today. Great game sense and covering for teammates is awesome. I do have my ultimate, which does help for the end zone here. Oh, he still goes down. I do remember that. Oh, so close. A lot of good points there. Not bad. Good fight. And if you look, I mean, overall, it's pretty pretty even. Everyone's kind of having a generally same experience. At one point, I don't even know if I remember if I can climb this. This map is big. Movement legends definitely benefit here. <laughs> I like how even post-commentary, it's like the same. We have like the same thoughts. It's It's so crazy. That's funny. I don't even know if you could climb that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yep. All right, this is our last hold. So I go for the ult just to buy some time. You can really play off these boxes pretty well if you know. If you can super glide better than I can, then by all means, these boxes are way better. A lot of damage going around. Good comms holding different angles, but also resetting together, finding those little areas, those nooks and, and areas. Only need 30 points. We had a great advantage here. We did so good on this. Mine, 
Yeah, we just let him go. At this point, we're like, we're just hard holding. That's great though. Good comms from the team. NGGs. That was great. So that was a great dub, a great ending to the to the video. Again, I, I I'm smiling because it was a whole lot of fun meeting everybody at Respawn's office and everyone just hanging out and having a good time. It was a lot of fun. I it was definitely a memorable experience, but and it just reminds me why I love Apex, you know. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. I'm sorry again, you know, when you hear other people's mics. I mean, we're just all in the same room, and I just I'm trying to add my own color commentary to everything. It, it is a lot of. It was just a lot of fun. I'm just get a smiling and just gosh I just what a what a great experience so if you're wondering why I delayed stream and what's been going on if you want to see more of the the cobalt heirloom then by all means you know check out the other you know content on the channel and also check out story Apex where I got a win with drum bum and girl I'll have that in the link down in the description down below too so thank you guys so much for watching see you guys all in the next one